the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon video. In this video, we will be looking ahead at next week's episode. Now that we're about halfway through this first season, this show is about to be firing on all cylinders, and by the looks of this new trailer, we should see fireworks all throughout this next episode. Now let's have a look at what's going to happen this Sunday. After watching the last episode, which was my favorite thus far, I'm very excited to see where everything goes from here on out. If you saw episode 4, then you know one of its main focuses was on Rhaenyra's marriage. After Viserys gave her the option of finding her own husband, he eventually had to basically force her to marry Sir Laenor Valerion before she ended up doing something that might ruin her name. As you all know, in the last episode, we saw Rhaenyra having some fun with her uncle, Daemon Targaryen, as well as her own guard, Sir Kristen Cole. Now, I don't actually mind her having some fun, but what I think doesn't matter. Her father Viserys, as well as all the other lords and ladies of Westeros, would see this as a stain on her name and virtue. Viserys wants to make sure she gets married before she does any irreversible damage. The new episode will focus on Rhaenyra and Laenor's royal wedding. Their marriage alliance will resurrect the relationship of Houses Targaryen and Valerion, who are arguably the greatest houses in Westeros. As these houses unite, they will now have dominance over the land, sea, and air. HBO's new video begins with us seeing House Valerion's incredible fleet as it makes its way to the capital of King's Landing. This should be the Sea Snake making his arrival as he gets ready to marry off his son and heir, Laenor Valerion. Later, we will see Viserys arrive on Driftmark, the seat and home of House Valerion. When he does arrive and greet with the Sea Snake, this is when we will hear him say he wishes to marry off his daughter and heir as he hopes to herald in his second age of the dragons. With this marriage alliance, House Targaryen would be adding Rhaenys Targaryen and her dragon melees, as well as her son Laenor Valerion and his dragon sea smoke, and their already incredible air force. We do see these dragons flying in the air in this new video. This will be our first official glimpse of Rhaenys' dragon melees, who is also known as the Red Queen. For those of you that don't know, melees is a she-dragon who has red scarlet scales and crest and horns that are as bright as beaten copper. Her dragon is considered to be one of the swiftest dragons in all of Westeros. In fact, it's said that she is faster than Daemon's dragon Caraxes and the oldest and largest living dragon Vagar. If you have seen some of my other videos, then you know how excited I am to see this dragon because we will eventually see her engage in one of the most amazing dragon battles in all of A Song of Ice and Fire. Now, after watching HBO's new video, it looks as if their wedding will have one hell of a ceremony. In George R. R. Martin's novel, Fire and Blood, it's said that there was seven days of feasting and jousting to celebrate Rhaenyra and Laenor's wedding. We've already seen a few shots from this wedding and other official videos from HBO. Now, since it's set in the Game of Thrones universe, we know that a wedding without at least three deaths is considered a dull affair. A Dothraki wedding without at least three deaths is considered a dull affair. The Lannisters send their regards. There's nothing. <laughs> He's choking! I'm the poor boy! Rhaenyra and Laenor's wedding will be no exception. As I said earlier in the video, it looks like there will be fireworks during the ceremony. There will be an eruption of fighting as madness ensues. I'm thinking this might have something to do with Sir Kristen Cole. Again, in Fire and Blood, we hear about Sir Kristen slipping into Rhaenyra's bedchamber to confess his love. During that scene, he also offers to run off with her to the Free Cities, where he would swear his sword to someone else. It says Rhaenyra declines the offer. Rhaenyra says that she's meant to be more than a wife of some sellsword, and if he can so easily forget his Kingsguard vows, then he would most likely do the same with his marriage vows. I think we might see something like this, but when he realizes she's getting married to Sir Laenor Valerion anyway, maybe he flips out and starts a fight at the wedding. During the seven days of celebrating Rhaenyra's marriage, Sir Criston does break Harwin's collarbone and shatter his elbow during the melee. It looks like they might have him do this at the wedding instead. Sir Criston Cole also defeats Joffrey Lawnmouth, who also happens to be the lover of Rhaenyra's new husband, Laenor Valerion. After Sir Criston smashes Joffrey in the head with his morning star, he dies from the head injury six days later. Once again, it looks like they might have him do some of these fights at the wedding. 
Now, Sir Kristen will make a lot of enemies for this. Even Viserys will be angry with him. Alicent, on the other hand, isn't bothered by what he had done. And in fact, this is when she will decide to make him her own guard. We've even seen some evidence of this in HBO's other official videos. You can see Sir Kristen and Alicent standing on the same side here as they give Rhaenyra dirty looks. As you can imagine, this will add gasoline to the already lit flame that is burning down Rhaenyra and Alicent's relationship. Right as it seemed like they were about to be friends again, their friendship will be shattered for good after this. Moving forward, Sir Kristen will never look at her the same again. In fact, this wedding might be one of the last celebrations we see with all of these characters in the same room. Many of their relationships will be severed after these events. As we see the health of Viserys continue to fall, we will also see everyone start drawing their lines in the sand as the new lane opens up for the Iron Throne. If it hasn't been obvious already, Viserys will die very soon. We even see Alicent watch him fall down in the video. He might only be around for a few more episodes and once he's gone for good, all hell will break loose. We hear Sir Otto's farewell before he leaves the city. He lets Alicent know Viserys will die very soon and when that day is here, Aegon must be ready for the Iron Throne. He doesn't want it to end up in the hands of Rhaenyra, or even worse, the man standing behind her in the shadows, Daemon Targaryen. In the last episode, Viserys threw him out of the city, forcing him to go back to the Vale with his wife. Well, it looks like Daemon has something else in mind. We already know he doesn't want to be there, especially with his wife, Rhea Royce. So it looks like he's going to make sure she has an accident that will eventually end her life. As you can see, Daemon is seen here, dressed as a shadowy figure. Then we see the same figure again, as his wife is thrown from the horse. This is how he will get rid of her for good. In Fire and Blood, it says Rhea Royce fell from her horse and smashed her head on a stone. Then she lingered for nine days before finally feeling well enough to leave her bed, only to fall down and die within an hour of rising. It is interesting to see how they're making Damon responsible for the death. We have seen some of his brutality before, when he was cracking heads during his days as the Lord Commander of the City Watch. Those actions, however, can be defended. I'm not so sure about this. He may be seen in a whole new light when and if anyone does find out what he had done. Now, I actually like that they're doing this by making his character even darker. If you ask me, this feels like the early days of Game of Thrones when the show was at its height. Another interesting thing about Rhaenyra's wedding is it looks like we might see Mushroom during the event. Now, for those of you who don't know, Mushroom is a dwarf who served as a fool for Viserys, his son Aegon, and his daughter Rhaenyra Targaryen. He allegedly wrote down the events that happened during his days in their service. Mushroom's testimony is filled with stories of murders, betrayals, sexual deviancies, and many other salacious claims, all of which can be found in Fire and Blood. Now, if they do bring in this character, certain aspects of him will remind you of Lord Tyrion Lannister. Mushroom was a Dragonstone in Rhaenyra's service at the outbreak of the Dance of the Dragons, so it would certainly make sense if they do introduce him now. I, for one, am really hoping this is him. He will make all of his scenes far more interesting, and dare I say, he will even bring some much-needed levity to the show. Once again, it seems House of the Dragon will be delivering us another amazing episode. I've said it once, and I will say it again. I think this show will only continue to get better and better from here on out. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what this next episode will bring. Let me know what all of you think down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can be the first to know whenever I release my new videos. I will be making 5 new videos each week. As always, I want to thank all of you for stopping by and showing some love. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.